Welcome back to United Gamers Authority. I'm Shade Hunter, and today we're talking about Icarus again, just to kind of point out where you would get it. I got mine off of the Steam store, and here's the Steam page right here. It's it's pretty self-explanatory. If you have other Steam games, just kind of go through the normal process. They're actually having a little bit of a deal here for their package deal, which is pretty cool. But what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here and we're going to, apparently they're having a bundle with DayZ. I have my own opinions on that. You can check out DayZ for yourself later. But once you get it installed, pretty simple. Just fire it up. I use the Direct 11, or the D, Direct X 11, excuse me. And those that have the NVIDIA 3070 or better, you can use the DirectX 12. But DirectX 11 seems to be just fine. Then you fire it up. I would highly recommend your first time starting it up to go ahead and watch the video. It's really cool, but... After these three dots stop blinking down in the left hand corner, you'll be able to just click and skip through this. And here's the main intro page. You want to, if you want, you can go through your settings. I would highly recommend going under controls and the toggle crouch. It is default off. Uh, I would suggest you change it to on because it makes it a whole lot easier. But then you want to go in here and click play. And you want to, um, on your game, just starting up, you won't see any characters on the left, and you'll want to create a character. I'm going to go ahead and use my Talon character here because he's brand new. The, the character creation is very simple. It's all, there's nothing important to the game about it. But I'm going to go ahead and use my Talon character here. And once you select your character, you will have a few different options. You can resume a game once you've already started one. You can click New Game, Load Game, and Join a Game. The interface here is a little bit different than most games because you can actually see your talents for that character, your tech tree for that character, and you can have a field guy of everything that you've opened up and accolades now the accolades like everything in this window seems to transfer between different characters you have a loadout because i've opened up this with another character i can have this suit on this character this new character you have the workshop that opens up with all your characters and you have the field guide and accolades that open up for every character the talents and tech tree are per character. It has a very, very like dynamic and progressive, progressive um, leveling system, which includes the field guide, accolades, the loadouts and workshop stuff, and yet it's separated for each character with the talents and everything. And it's really cool. You actually have respect points when you first start. You could also buy respect points that are worth that you can buy for um, 150 Ren. Ren is the currency in this game. There's also two other currencies. You have exotics, which is the purple and red exotics, which is the red one. But the it's very expansive you do not have enough levels to be able to get the entire tech tree filled out so later on i will be doing different builds for different types of play and there's so many different options the combat is all of your fighting abilities habitation is all your house and home Adventure is exploration and 
other camping type adventure stuff. So you got the husbandry because there are mounts and pets that you can have. Then you have fishing. You have sur under survival, you actually have the gathering your resources, your hunting for food, and then your cooking and farming. So it's it's really, really in depth and very well thought out. But once you hit that max level, then Max level is 60. Because Shade Hunter here is max level. Once you hit that max level, you can still continue to earn XP and level up, but you're not leveling up because I've already leveled to 60 like six times now. And when you level up to 60 again and again and again, you get more of the tech tree points. And then you can slowly unlock other things as you continue. But that's pretty much everything getting started in a nutshell. Next episode, we will be going over the different game modes because when you go in here, let me go ahead and switch back to my new character. When you go into new game, you're gonna have different game modes. And next episode, we're going to go in depth on what the different game modes are and what they can offer you. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all for coming and watching. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Later.